Hey y'all, hey, it's me again. So in today's video, we are going to talk about hair. I know it has been a hot minute since I've talked about hair care or natural hair, you know, hair pertaining to me. So I wanna bring those back. So I figure what would be a better way to bring those back than to share part of my journey and share what I have been using on this journey and all that. So we're just gonna hop right into it, you guys. So without any further ado, let's get it. But before I go, are you subscribed? Okay, if you're not, stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button, and then come on back and watch the video. <laughs> then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell twice so you're notified every time I post a video. Last video that I shared about like my hair journey was sharing how I was transitioning back to natural hair. So if you guys have been following me for a hot minute, you guys know that last year I cut off my hair, what well, a big guy cut off my hair, and I had a really short cut and I was relaxed. So not only did I cut my hair, but I was relaxed, which I have not had a relaxer in years prior to that. Once the postpartum shedding started kicking my butt, I realized that it wasn't best to get a relaxer with something that go, you know happens naturally because if you guys want to know after you have a baby you experience postpartum shedding which is where your hair falls out you know sometimes it falls out the back of your head most times it falls out in your edges so once I started noticing my edges I was like eee. so like I mentioned in that video my hair was not falling out because of the relaxers at all it was simply because of the postpartum shedding so I said you know what I think I'm just going to just go back natural and tech, I mean, honestly, like I wasn't like, it's not that I wanted to grow my hair back out, but because I was experiencing postpartum shedding, I didn't want to get another relaxer. And that's kind of how I went into being natural the first time around in 2011 when my hair was just thinning out. Back in 2011, my hair was just thinning out. It wasn't really healthy, so I just decided to go natural. I didn't cut my hair off anything. I just transitioned for a long time. And then once my hair got long enough, then that's when I decided to cut the ends off and go fully natural. So this was back in 2011, and then I cut my, my I did not cut my relaxed ends in 2011 I mean 2012 so fast forward to now I have just I just haven't gotten a haircut I haven't put a relaxer back in my hair so now I'm just kind of freestyling a little bit of what May I think last May was my last relaxer oh my gosh that's almost a year so I guess my one year of becoming natural is next month oh my gosh I think it I think it was May or June I don't know. I think it was May and June. I'll let you guys know right here. So yeah, my one year since my last relaxer is coming up and my hair isn't like, you know, big or anything. I mean, keep in mind, it's, it's only been a year. And But it's getting long and it's really kinky. It's kinkier this time. So I love it, you know. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I, w I can't wait until it cools down and I can wear it out more. But for now, I just want to keep it healthy. I want to keep it growing. And then once the temperature comes down, then we will see me wearing it more often. Ah, oh, you excited about that? <laughs> so let's talk about some of the products that I have been using and loving on this transitional journey, shall we? Now you're like, Chris, you got on a wig. Like, come on now. So in this picture here, this was the last one. I got a perm. So as you guys can see, it was nice, silk, laid, and it was a little relaxed. And now this is how my hair looks now. So you guys can see, I have no relaxer in my hair and my hair is really kinky and it's just it's just growing back it's growing back so the shampoos and conditioners that I have been loving are the KC by Cara Care Curl Essence Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner with Jamaican Black Castor Oil and Coconut Oil so I've randomly picked this product up at a okay, tongue twister pick the tongue <laughs> so I randomly picked this product up at Sally Beauty, I had went in for some oils, but they were having a sale on these, and I was like, eh, okay. I've heard great product. I've heard great reviews about Cure Care from research and from the reviews. I knew Cure Care was a good line of products, so I was like, well, let me try out the KC by Cure Care line and see if it's just as good. And y'all, I love it. Oh my goodness, like. 
I love how it smells first and foremost, but I love how soft my kinks are after I wash my hair. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a natural hair wash tutorial for you guys. If you like, if you guys would like that, give me a big thumbs up or let me know down below and I'll get that done for you guys as soon as possible. But I absolutely love how my kinks feel after I wash my hair. Definitely how it feels after I wash my hair. So with the conditioner, so I absolutely love it. Um, I think they were $5.99. I think they were $5.99, but I absolutely love these products. So I highly suggest that everything will be linked down below. Uh, like I said, it's very affordable and it's really good for your hair. So this is one that I highly suggest if you will. So another product line that I have been loving for my natural hair is, so this is the Design Essentials Natural Hair Almond and Avocado Shampoo and Leave-In Conditioner. So I was introduced to Design Essentials by my friend. I don't know if you guys um, have been following me for a while. I had got my hair straightened like two years ago by my friend who's a hairstylist back at home and she used this on my hair and I noticed a tremendous difference in how my hair felt and the health of it. So I had texted her, I was like, hey, what was that? Because I know Design Essentials, they have different lines of products. So I wanted that specific one. So it was the almond and avocado line and I love it. So, you know, the big bottles, so the big bottles, you know, they like, what, $13, $14? So I was like, eh, you know, right at the moment when I went to get it, I just didn't have it. <laughs> so now they sell these sizes here. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I think these are $2.99 or $3.99. So they have the small sizes, which honestly you don't need a lot because the lather is amazing and it's so fade free and all that good stuff. So I've been using this and if I need more, then I just go back and get them on. And then the leave-in conditioner, when I do my protective style, when I'm about to protect the style or like wear a wig or something, I always use this on my hair to soften my hair and y'all for those who have type 4c hair or type 4d type 4z hair like the real thick stuff and you're looking for a leave-in conditioner that really detangles your hair this right here y'all like i kid you not like i know i recommend a lot of products but when it comes to hair kinky hair at that this really gets the tangles out okay like i can I can confidently braid my hair down without my fingers getting stuck and all that because of this product. So I highly suggest it. Like I said, this is the leave-in conditioner and it is so bomb, okay? So I might be a little late to the Maya Organics game, but better late than never, okay? So y'all, so the Rosemary Mint line, y'all, is so amazing like once i can get once i get a chance to go back to target i need to get some more because you see it's empty but y'all this line is one of my favorites like i know i love all these other products but this right here this might be my holy grail for a while okay like i love mint flavor because i don't know if you guys know but peppermint tea tree anything that's mint is good for cleansing and it's good for the health of your scalp if you have a healthy scalp your hair is going to grow in a healthy way anything that has mint in it i'm all for it so when i saw that i was like okay it has mint i like mint let me try it game changer okay so i did have the oil but but at the time i just didn't have a chance to go back to target to get another bottle so what i do now is i just reuse it so i have my own oil in here i have my little mixture which has been helping out with my hair grow so <laughs> so i love the actual mint oil that my organic has but like I said, I just reused the bottle to make my own oil. This mask here is so, 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 so good. Like I leave it on my hair for 15 to 20 minutes and my hair is so soft and you can feel the mint. Like, um, what's the thing? Um, Eden's Body, Eden, Eden's Body, I don't know if you guys know the product line, Eden's Body, they have a tea tree shampoo and conditioner line as well. And that's where I realized that, oh, I love mint stuff on my hair. So now with this line, I just love it. Like I, I'm obsessed. Like I, I just got this. I got I got this right before the virus stuff happened because if this was good. I knew this was going to be even better, okay? And these two together 
and this oil. Mayel. Monique. Hey girl. <laughs> Call me. Email me. Business at the Christy Watch Fly. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna be gassing this up, okay? I absolutely love it. I love this line and I highly recommend it, okay? So another product that my hair has been loving is this olive moisturizing treatment with avocado and silk and if you notice something i love avocados on my hair like i need to just make my own avocado thing but if the product has some avocado in it i'm good so um i love that that's actually a throwback i don't know if you guys grew up with silk elements like I, when I saw it at Sally's, I was like, oh my god, it's a throwback. So I love that line. So I bought it because not only was it on sale, but I just didn't want to get like something like super expensive that I knew worked. And that's one of those products that is not super expensive, but it works. I used the, uh, I have the shampoo. Oh crap, that's what I forgot. I knew I forgot something, but I have the shampoo and conditioner in my daughter's bathroom. I've used it on her hair a few times and it does very well on her hair. And I just love how it feels. I love just the silkiness that my hair feels. And I use the um, the spray, the heat protective spray. I use that too. So as you guys can see, I'm running low on that as well. So once we are free to go, I might need to reel on my products now. Okay. And last but not least, this Proclaim Professional Care Olive Edge Gel. So I use this for my weaves and for my edges because, you yeah, know, I like to make sure my edges and my baby hers are laid. Hit no. Murray's, Murray, is that it? Murray's edge control the thick stuff which works amazing i use that on my edges but i will use this like to slick my hair back and also on my edges as well and i just love i don't know I lo it's something about the stick that i just like i like the stick feel so that way i don't have to like put my toothbrush in it it just goes you know you can just slick it on now and it works miracles and all that so i just love it but yeah, y'all, so those are a few of my favorite products that I have been using that are my holy grails and that have really been contributing to the health of my hair. I've been real low maintenance with my hair this time around. That's why I always protect the style. And I've been protective styling for a reason. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the different hairs I've been wearing and it's for a reason. Just stay tuned. But from protective style so much, my hair has just been just been growing it's just been coming in a little healthier i know some people have been asking me about the rice water so i haven't done that lately but i want to get back into that because i know because the rice water really did come in handy and it did help and also i tried black rice water or is it red white is it red rice water or black rice i think it's black rice water so i have black rice as well and i've tried that and y'all I might just have to do a video. I'm gonna have to do a video for y'all because I just, I just gotta do a video for y'all. So I wanna do an update on the rice water, but I want to do it for a couple of, you know, just do it for a couple of weeks just to like, you know, be able to take pictures and document it. Cause I don't wanna just sit here and tell you guys when I don't have proof. So I'll do that. So, uh, what's today, Sunday? I have my wash day coming up. So I'll do that and I'll document it and then give me about a month and I'll come to you guys with the results and we'll see what magic happens. But other than that, you guys, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So if you want more hair videos, more hair tutorial videos, my hair journey videos, let me know and I'll do that for you guys. And I hope that this was helpful. All the products will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.